What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys, just had to redo this video because I didn't care for the way it came out. Um, okay, this is basically part two of my, well, the glass tubes, so to speak, on Mars. And I don't want to make this one too long, but I do want to get my point across because there's something I noticed. There's a couple other anomalies I noticed as well as uh, bigger anomalies. And basically, you got to look at the whole the whole picture and in order to really see these. And, I, and it just occurred to me because I decided to dig a little deeper into this thing. And I was just like, whoa, what the heck? Um, so anyway, let me show you that. And um, we'll jump right into it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't really notice this until after. Until I'm zoomed out, and I don't know if you guys can notice this, but this is where this is what I had, and I showed you the areas that were in question and had these anomalies in it. Okay, and we were going over these here, and you can see these what look like structures hidden from from view because I showed you the original. It was completely, you know, whited out. Um, and okay, so you've got these other ones, and the weird thing about it, they look like they're a lot of hexagons. Something about hexagons. They like hexagon kind of shapes and you can see this right here if you go back to my first one even if you don't if you're just jumping on my second one here this one here go back to the first one you're going to see what i'm talking about again here um okay so this is what i noticed and there's a couple other little ones here i'm going to go ahead and highlight okay this right here almost looks like it has this wall and it might be opened up over here or whatever um you've got this one right here almost another hexagon type shape okay and this one sort of looks like that. You can see that with the um, with the shape right here. You can notice, if you notice, it's right... Well, wrong one. Let's try doing the right one here. Right here. And it kind of gets lost and you can't really see it that much. Because there is this other weird looking, it looks like an opening. But there's something right here in the middle of that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's something right there. Um, then you've got this one here. It's kind of not exactly the clearest looking thing, but you've got that here. And so you've got these weird shapes and it's almost like they just like enjoy building hexagon shaped things i don't know um but now when you really start to analyze this you're going to see more um structures you know and i thought this is really odd because if you look at this one here you can see right here goes like this down kind of comes up and around like this here now this whole thing looks like this structure is built on this this, this looks like a wall like i said this goes over to here. This goes down. And, of course, I did actually go a little bit more inward, which is not a big deal. Right there. Now, if you look around carefully, you got to look for the shapes. And this is what stuck out for me. I was just really blown away. Look at this little piece here. And it's got a round piece in the middle and then a dot. Now, of course, I really made that look bad, but you can see it right here. Okay? Now, again, it fools with your eyes. You don't see this. Now, it may be just patterns we're seeing. I don't think they all are. Now, here's a good example. Here's another one right here. This thing has like something going like this, like this, going down over to here, but you can see the edge does this. Okay? You can see one, two, three. Okay? This thing goes up like this, goes over. It appears to do this. I'm not sure if this other piece is in with it too, but you can see this. Now, is it possible, <laughs> if you look, one, two, three, four, I mean, that's that's pretty good considering, you know, if that's just naturally occurring, that's pretty darn good. I mean, look at these, just look around. Now, some of these, again, will be trickery of the eye, and I get that. Um, you don't know if this is actually just walls keeping in certain structures or whatever and this is the reason why you see this weird overlap because if you look at this i'm going to go ahead and take this off look at that so it almost looks like they're either you know land masses and they're you know there's a bunch of well i wouldn't say land masses but actual boundaries walls call them what you will or if they're actually huge structures i don't know because when you look at the all of these rest of these next to it yeah it just makes you wonder now now let's look at the the whole picture the large picture if you will and I'm going to show you this because this kind of stuck out for me. I didn't realize this until I looked at this. I was like, whoa. Um, okay. Check this out. I don't know if you guys notice this, but it's kind of faint, but you can see what looks like a landmass. Now, this kind of gets stopped right there. 
looks like it looks like it does this right here kind of like something right there but then it continues on and then it kind of just gets lost but you can see where it goes like this and that's it so there you go it looks like a landmass same thing with this one it goes down like this comes over does this and of course you've got different pieces here like i said earlier you got that what looks like a wall or some kind of other thing now again here's that other one it looks kind of faint through the back here but you can see this okay but here's another one check this out okay it looks like it might do that i'm not sure exactly what that one does but it looks like it kind of goes around i mean we don't know what these things are but my god when you when you stop and look at these things i mean it's crazy and like I said, when you look at these, you got these two other pieces that I noticed yesterday. After doing the video, I decided to, you know, dig a little deeper, and this is what I found. So it's really kind of strange. Now, let me highlight all of these and then back out. And you can see these uh, different other pieces. And I also showed these here. I don't know if I highlighted them, though. But, uh, I hi you know, I showed you these after, which looks like other these other weird things. There's one, two, three four uh, you know what i would suggest is everybody just <laughs> get this picture and check this out yourself look at this almost looked like this i just noticed this now i didn't even notice this before well, i did that all goofy but look at this kind of looks like it does this and this whatever this is is going into the ground or it's going over it one of the two but you can see that right there it almost looks like somebody's see that and whatever this is, it has this weird shape to it. And it looks like it's going down into this hole as opposed to a crater. Now, you guys can tell me what you think about that, but I just noticed that. That's kind of odd. Um, this piece here. This section here, there's other pieces, so on and so forth. Now, again, not all of these things are going to be something, but come on. You know, you know, like I said, question... Is it possible that these are raised land masses and there might have been water around these? Like all in this area here. This might have all been water right in here. All of this area, all of this, all in here. And because now there's no longer water there, or at least in, I would say, a good majority of the planet, I'm not saying there is no water because I don't believe that for a minute. Um, and you can see, look, if you look really carefully, you can see things right in here. Look at them all. All these, like, just, you know structures all kinds of other things now again don't get me wrong because it's being covered there could be artifacts of the picture in their manipulation so we can't swear to it but that's why i'm trying to cover the bigger objects but now the reason why i say this is it possible that these were on land because here's the thing this is not out of the realm this is not out of the question here's venice or at least an island off of venice um or part of uh but you can see how nice and clean that's been built on this piece of land now, I don't know if this was built from scratch or if it was actually a piece of land there and they just built it up themselves on the edge and built what they did. But now, here's... A, whoop, okay. Uh, I got rid of them, but that's okay. Uh, here's the same island right here. And there's the rest of the islands. And it's funny because if you've seen the whole thing, it actually looks like a giant fish. you got the tail fin and you've got... <laughs> but anyway, you can see how just how clean this is and sectioned off this looks. Now, let me ask you a question. If this was all, let's say you could get rid of all this water today, would anything grow back? Now, maybe not in salt water, if it was salt water in, that, in this area, but maybe fresh water, perhaps. Is it possible that all kinds of greenery grew? I mean, who knows? Um, here's another one. Here's, uh, here's Milwaukee. Now, this is not, it's not all on water, but you can see, like, different areas and see how clean it is the way they built um, that... Uh, and here's a satellite view of it. Now, I had to clean that up a little bit, just dock and get some more things to pop, but you see the actual, I'm going to use the term coastline, but you can see the way this is nice and crisp and the way it's been built. So it's not of the, out of the question that this couldn't happen. So I'm asking, is it possible this was mostly water at one point? I don't know. Um, that's, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, but... You know, of course, you guys can give me your take on that. But it was just it was just kind of wild because when I backed out of this thing, I was just like, whoa, what the heck? Um, and you can see, you know, these structures are right dead on it. I mean, it's not like um, they're not. 
and like I said, we can zoom in. You can see what looks like different other little land masses and stuff like that on here and uh, all different other pieces. And, you know, and of course, we're not going to see these things very clear, so don't even try to. But anyway, and another thing about these, uh, I'll jump into this one here. Um, these tubes, <laughs> if they're tubes, they weren't transportation. At least I don't think so. I'm just throwing a, you know, throwing this at you. But look at the way this thing looks now as opposed to the original, which is here. Oh, it's it's really blurred out. I think there's more going on than what meets the eye as far as that goes. You can see what looks like something's going like this here. Now, I don't know if these were joined, but it looks like it goes like this. There was something coming down from there. You can see that's right here. Now, again, this would be, this is the actual top. Because I'm going to tell you what, when you first look at this, it looks like you're looking at the, like this is the top. You know, and that this is the side. That's not the case. Because again, like I said, if you look at these, um, right here, these crater wannabes, you can see that you'd look me dead straight into them. Well, then this would be the top here, and this would be the side. And you can see this just, again, check this out. Look at the way this thing actually comes off like this. And I showed you in my first video. Literally goes up, then comes back down. This one goes in there and comes back down. And you can see what it looks like it keeps traveling. So what the heck could this be? There's also all kinds of things over here, going up over here. There's, I mean, you've got to take a good look at this thing. Even this one here. Check this out. Round. Whatever this section of junk is right here, it literally goes into that hole. See it? And what they try to do is clean that up so that you don't actually see that. But you can see it right here going into it. And then it looks like there's something pretty large right here. And I don't know if you've seen that, but it looks like, well, I'm just taking a guess it's this shape. But check this out. Right here, there's one, two pieces coming off it. See that? And whatever it is, you can see where they, they try to dock in it, but it goes literally into that hole. What does that? In nature. So, you know, again, you got this almost this shiny piece right here. Almost like this, almost looks cylindrical. I don't know what, I mean, not cylindrical, but uh, round in shape. So I don't know what that is, but you can see that literally goes into this. So I don't know what these are, but this looks like it swings around, comes back down. But I think it's what it is, it's going from one piece to another, but there's clearly something else going here. Now, I don't know if this is, I mean, heck, if we're going to just take wild guesses and just speculate how do we know that these weren't some kind of greenhouse type things and it was set up to either house food for this you know gets the sun in there and puts all kinds of food it's supposed to be a mile long and again i don't know if they're talking about all of this all the way up to the right or to the left of this and then down i don't know but is it possible that they're you know because everybody says well it's real cold there and i would imagine at night it is there is no atmosphere supposedly to hold in any heat but you know it storms there, so you know clouds would keep heat in. But if it's not cloudy, it's you know all the heat will go out into the atmosphere. Is it possible that they use this to get heat? It heats up inside there. They blow like air through there, and it just heats the underground or these uh, structures that are here. Who knows? I mean, it's all pure speculation. We have no idea what this stuff is. Um, but I don't think the way they're Hoagland and these guys, uh, Skipper and all these people are saying, "Oh, this traveled through there." No, it did not. No, it did not. Because, I mean, common sense is saying, look, they're perfectly spread apart. No, they're not. You can see this here. Some of them are shorter than the others. Um, there's no way that this did this because you can clearly see these angled down. Well, this one goes up and into this thing. So there's no way this thing was a transport tube, or at least not in the way that they're saying. God knows what it is, but whatever. Um, but have a good look at this thing. I mean, like I said, if it is some kind of weird... Um, tunneling system i don't believe it was used for what they're saying um it's clearly and it's been manipulated so badly that they try to mess with this thing well they didn't try they actually did a good job of it but you can see where it's all you know just completely blurred out all along it i all i did was, you can see this right here it's been blurred um and it's and it's or it's been manipulated because just all you got to do is hit uh, equalize, and you'll see this pop out like this. Now, that may be just because it's black and white, but you get the idea. Anyway, guys, like I said, give me your take on this. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I'm seeing these things. And here's another thing I, didn't, I wanted to show you that I thought this was really odd. When I seen this thing, I said it looked like a weird, uh, like, Stonehenge kind of thing on top of this. It's another one here. You can see this goes off like this. It's got a corner. It goes like this. This comes out. goes like this. 
this comes down looks like it just does this a little bit then there's another piece an outer piece and you can see something jumping over from this side to this side but check this out i didn't notice this until later boom this goes over to here i mean come on what does that just by accident you know um and i showed you this over here this this weird looking funky structure or whatever this is now like I said, I, I want your input. You guys tell me what you think. I just found, like I said, this extra stuff here, and I just thought this was really wild because it's like it's almost like they, again, they they went out of their way. You can see something right here. It looks like it's standing up right there. See it? With this ball at the top, another one here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there. Um, but it's like if they, it's like if you try to throw a blur over everything, it's like you're not completely blurring everything. So there is parts where you're seeing that are clear, and you're able to pull stuff up. I mean, come on, look at this. This is just so blurred out, it's pitiful. Um, and there's a lot of it. It's You can see where they try to take a lot of this out. So, you know, let me know what you guys think, you know. And this is the biggest piece of trash on the planet. And this is highly debatable and questionable. So, you know, this is the reason why I want your input, guys, and tell me what you think. And uh, there you go. Um, didn't want to make it super long. I just wanted to add this to it. And that's the only reason why I haven't put these up on... Uh, Google Plus yet because I found this extra stuff. So you will get these like this here um, You'll get this one in here this one uh, This one you'll get the whole picture this way you can you know check it out yourselves and You know and you'll get these here with the outlines. Like I said, I found this other piece here Whoops like this and you can see where it does this here And goes around and we don't know if they're all in here was all like river or whatever or is it just simple? Goofy little patterns in the picture. I don't think so. Like I said, as light as this picture was, you know they were hiding something. Especially on this end. And there you go. Anyway, guys, give me your take on it. Always interested to hear what you guys got to say. Um, there's only one reason why NASA will make an area that's super bright. And that's to hide any details or any kind of... Give it a 2D look as, as opposed to a 3D. So keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, you guys will get them uh, this evening or tomorrow morning. So look out for those two on Google+. Plus. I also got another one coming up. I, I watched, um, and you guys can check it out too, uh, Crow777's latest one. He talks about two objects, um, I think, uh, transversing over the face of the moon. Um, I've got another one coming up about that. You're going to find it pretty interesting. Um, I got another theory and added to the theories that I have what's going on with this moon. It is not what we think it is. You know, some people, you know, I get, you know, people say, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're crazy. You know how much power it would take to put a hologram over it? I don't know. I mean, they just had specials on TV not so long ago about holograms with uh, Michael Jackson and Tupac and all that. And they look so darn realistic. It's pitiful. So, yeah, they're saying, well, to project that kind of thing. How do we know we're projecting it? How do we know it isn't coming from the moon itself? <clears throat> but regardless, stay tuned for that. That's coming up as well. And you're going to see some more crazy stuff about that. So just stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up. You know, share the video. Let people see what's going on. Even if they don't totally agree with me, it's still, if it's just making you scratch your head and question what's going on, I've done my job. I've said that before and I'll say it again. Anyway, guys, like I said, appreciate you watching. See you next picture.